Fantastic. I've got a couple of cricket legends alongside me here in the studio, Michael Vaughan and Jimmy Anderson as well. Both of you out there today. Michael, first of all, you. Top of the board in the team element. How's that doing on your 18th appearance? First and foremost, I've no idea how it happened. Um, <laughs> I think Jimmy deserves the credit because he led me astray last night. <laughs> uh, shanked every single shot on the range and suddenly went on the course and had every ounce of uh, the fortune that you require around this golf course. Um, that's the beauty of this game though, isn't it? You never know what's going to come your way. Jimmy, you said something really nice actually about this feels to you a little bit like it did in your profession going out at Lords, coming to play golf on a place like this. What is it that's so magical for you getting into come into this sport at the home of golf? Well, it's the I think it's the history. That's the the likeness there between Lords is the history of the the ground when you go there. Uh, it's just the, the place everyone wants to play, and I feel like that's hit, like it is here with the golfers. Um, just the history, the, the you know the Open Championships that I've seen here, uh, and this tournament every year, and you're seeing the best in the world come and play shots and you're getting to sort of try and replicate that and also see guys that are at the top of their game as well in, in uh, uh, sort of right up close which is incredible. How does it compare going out onto the first tee here in this environment versus what it would have been for you with everything you achieved? I, I, I'll be honest Nick, having shanked 89% of my shots on the <laughs> range I was quite happy just to see the ball go forward <laughs> off that first tee. Um, oh, the, the nerves that, and both me and Jimmy walked down the first today and we were both shaking. Yeah. Really? We're kind of looking at why. Can you ever lean on anything that you used in your own profession? I know you're at the top of the tree when it came to it, you had comfort there. But is there anything that through cricket that you use there that can put you in a better place than, say, the average amateur that walks down these paths? Uh, not really, I don't think. <laughs> I think I'm lying if I said that I could you know, trigger back a memory from batting at Lords or you know, playing against Australia and suddenly you're playing a golf shot. We have no control over the golf ball. Yeah. Every now and again you hit a shot that you think, oh, I actually thought about that when it came off, but more often than not, when, when you're shaking like a leaf, mm. you know, you're just quite happy to see the ball go off the blade in that direction. The juices from competitive cricket that you have to eventually say goodbye to in a career, can you get them from competitive golf? Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, we've, we've played a little bit this week um, already, uh, and just having that sort of yeah, competitive edge, I think it, it's probably not the same because you're playing against mates, um, but... I feel like, yeah, it's definitely something that I'm going to need to keep going because that competitiveness, competitiveness never leaves you, does it? It's yeah. like, it's always going to be there. Jimmy's probably obviously spent 20 odd years bowling 85 miles an hour and, and hitting batters. Today he actually hit a pro <laughs> with a golf ball. He decided Nearly. to drive the tent <laughs> with his driver and it just, just bounced over Matthew Baldwin's head on, as he was putting on oh the green. Right, you can shift it and you play a bit of golf at West Lanks and a low handicap as well, Jimmy, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I've sort of plateaued a little bit. I really want to keep, you know, everyone wants to get the handicap down. I really want to try and get down to scratch, but obviously that takes a lot of hard work and dedication. 